Well, it, it's very simple. You have 15% of people dead. 80% of structures destroyed. Uh, another 20% of people wounded. 1.2 million people living in tent cities, in horrible conditions. I think the priority, if you ask me, the priority is not just HIV AIDS. The priority is how can we move in all, in the best possible conditions to definite sites, 1.2 million people. Because by doing so, you will also help control HIV. You will help control TB. So if you want, instead of looking at the problem from an HIV standpoint, I'm looking at it from a justice standpoint from a human rights standpoint. Relocation doesn't just mean habitats. It would be too simple. Mm -hmm. Because when you are in the best possible habitat and you don't have any food for your children, you don't have any jobs, you don't have schools, you don't have health care, how good is that? And when you're going to relocate them, it has to be in a community that accepts them because many of those communities don't have enough for themselves. So you have to prepare an entire infrastructure. It involves the entire well-being of, of a patient. It's not just traditional health care. Uh, you have a fever, you're sick, they treat that. Mm -hmm. It involves everything that makes life worth living. It involves proper habitat, it involves job creation, it involves schools, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So since we've been doing many of that, uh, we have a very good microcredit program that has been quite successful for some time. Uh, we have a school. Now I have a school for kids. No one of us would like to live in a tent city, mm. whether we're HIV infected or not. Mm. So that's, I don't want to see it as an infectious disease uh, physician. I'd like to see it as a human being. Mm. As a Haitian, we, don't, we do not want to see his brothers and sisters live in those conditions.